Hello everyone, this is Peter Kay from DrySport. I just wanted to take this moment to talk to you a bit about one of the products they sell on my web store. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions from guys buying O2J, O2A dog boxes for the drag cars and other race cars. The issue we're addressing here is the inherent weakness of the OEM bearing that sits inside of the shift fork. Here we have the original shift fork set up. So what we wanna do Place that with something a little more robust that you see here. So here's the comparison of the OEM bearing and the upgraded one. And you can see that plastic race and inside the balls. So you certainly don't want those stainless balls rolling around in your expensive gearbox. So we're eliminating an inherent weak point by upgrading to this. This goes through your case. There's an O-ring right here to seal from the oil. So these get pressed into your shift forks. This goes through your case. And here we have the upgraded pin and bearing. Now these are also able to withstand way more force than the OEM ones. This setup is gonna improve your reliability and decrease your chance of a miss shift. Secondly, it's gonna improve your shift or feel. Now, as you know, with dog boxes, the shift has to be firm and assertive. And when you're applying that kind of assertive force, you want to make sure it's going in the right place. So you're going to get rid of the slop in the OEM bearing here and going to use our bronze bearing with the pin set. When installing your new dog box or straight cut synchro set into your O2A, O2J gear kit, this is a good opportunity to install this kit as you're going to have the gearbox completely apart. So here you can see the shift fork mocked up on a six speed Kalmar dog box to line these up. It's no different than the OEM bearing and pin. However, you're gonna have to work a little harder to line the pin up as it's not tapered like the original. This is an original pin. Nothing really wrong with these original pins. However, we can't use them on the solid bronze bearing set because they're hollow. So they're not compatible with the bronze bearings. That's why we supply these with the set. So these are gonna go through your case and into the bearing. 